Um, I don't know if um, some of you saw me when I spoke at Stoke. Um, I spoke about things that, you know, sort of we've got this corporate governance. And a lot of things didn't seem to add up. And I couldn't understand why everything seemed to be becoming a company or a corporation. Well, now I can explain it. Because the nice thing about what I do and the people that surround me is that everyone who comes to me gives me a snippet, a bit, a little snippet of information. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're talking about. And that's why I'm going to ask you today to listen to what people say. It doesn't matter what they're talking about, whether you agree with it, listen, because this is about communication. That's what a community is about. It's about communicating with each other. And that's the only reason I'm stood here today. I haven't got a clue why I'm stood here, and I don't know why you've come, but it's just the way things work out. So, just accept that fact and crack on. Right, you probably, a lot of you know that we, we've got a, a little website called TPUC. Um, I am a carpenter by trade, and I still am a carpenter. I was down recently for a doctor friend laying a bamboo floor, so I still, still do, the, do the job, I have to live. I started this website, and I didn't really know why I started it. But an amazing amount of information came to me that I didn't really understand. And some of it I still don't understand. And I started to look at it and there was a jigsaw puzzle unfolding in front of me and pieces were slotting in. And this is the presentation you're going to see. So I want to ask you some very simple questions. And before I start, I want to say that Albert and John are, are good friends and I do not disrespect them in any way. I just come from a slightly different perspective, that's all. Okay, so what they've said is very valuable and I, I'm not going to diss their information but I just want to give you a, a, another way to look at life as we know it. And the top one says very simply, do you believe that Parliament is elected to represent you and your wishes? Right, okay. I love this. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. <laughs> um, do you really know what politics are about? Do we really understand this word politics? Okay. Some do, some don't. Do you know what Acts of Parliament and statutory instruments actually are? Yeah? So we understand what these things are and we have to live by these things. Right. If anybody, <laughs> if anybody has seen a presentation that I've done before, and I've done a few around the country, if you, you, I know you're going to have a lot of these answers, but obviously there's a lot of people who don't, so for the benefit of them, if we could kind of allow it to just evolve as it will do. Do you know what a, a constitution really is? And the clue is in the first three letters, con. <laughs> That's a clue. Um, like I said, I, I'm not really killing anybody else's stuff, I'm just giving you my perspective of things. I suppose that's what it really is. Do you know what the United Kingdom really is? Do you know what it is? A lot of people say, you know, a lot of people have got this image of what the United Kingdom really is and it's far from United. That's one thing I will say, far from United. You live in a society, can you name it? Oh yeah, you've seen it before. <laughs> I normally say something very different, but there's a lot of people here and I'm going to curb my language today. Well, I'll try my best. If you don't like swearing and you are adverse to the odd swear word, then I'll tell you when to cover your ears. Now. No one did it. <laughs> right. Are the police doing their job properly? 
And it's a shame because we met, I met two CID officers yesterday who were very, very pleasant indeed. Maybe they were pleasant because they realised I knew the game. Um, but it was an interesting conversation. Um, do you believe we have courts of justice? No. no. And this is the last one that a lot of people stumble on. Do you believe you're a person? That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. That's the key to this. That's why it's underlined. This is the key. The word person, persona, the character, the mask. This is the key to everything. Um, and a lot of people do believe they are a person. And it's said, you know, I ring people up and the answer phone says, the person you're trying to contact is not here at the moment. I'm not trying to contact a person, I'm trying to contact a human being, or a man or a woman. But, you know, there you go. Members of Parliament, a good friend of mine, that some of you might know as the anti-terrorist, um, and the, don't, yeah, thank you, he deserves everything, yeah. Um, he told us a little while ago that the members of Parliament were actually a comp company. Now, I broke the words up because Parliament actually means two words, which is talk and lies. It's talk in French and Latin for lies. So it's talk lies, acts of talking lies. Um, but according, he said they're a company. So I don't really believe anything that people tell me, so I look for this information. And what I want to tell you today is not to believe a word I'm saying. And if you really do, if you, you, know, if you class me in the so-called society we live in, I'm a tattooed carpenter <laughs> with a Cockney accent. <laughs> you know, would you believe me? <laughs> right. So look for this stuff yourself. Everything you're going to see today is factual. Absolutely factual. You can go and find this bar one little bit that I'll explain later. Um, so they're the directors of a company and they've got this company number, it's called, it's that UC number there, that's their actual number, their company number. And because they are a company, and they, they, it literally is orchestrated, they will keep going in the same direction, it will never ever change, it's never changed and it never will change, because it is orchestrated. A lot of people don't know that Tony Blair, Margaret Thatcher and John Major have something very, very significant in common, bar being Prime Ministers and that is their cousins. And no one seems to know this. If you want to, get, if you want to see this, go and get a copy of Kids Trivial Pursuit, because it's one of the questions. There's little snippets everywhere. Everywhere. you just got to look. The members of Parliament are not only the, not on, the, sorry, are not the only government a department that are a company, a corporation, and the big question is why, and that's what I'm going to lead you into. I don't know if anybody's seen this, but this is the new company's house. There's a company called Dewport, and they're based down in Bristol. A good friend of mine, Chris Lees, knows this company very well, and they are the new version of company's house. As you can see, there's a lot of the UC numbers, but the members of Parliament quite clearly are on there, House of Commons, as a company. That's what you go on company's house to search for, companies. We use another website, which we've had a lot of dissing about, a lot of people have attacked me about it because we use Dun & Bradstreet. I want to tell you a little bit about Dun & Bradstreet. Dun & Bradstreet is the leading business world's credit reference agency. It has about 160 million corporations on it worldwide and you can check out, if you want to do business with these people, you can check them out. You find out if they're credit worthy, if they've got county courts, whatever. Pay the bills and sign them. And the members of parliament, again, are found on Dun & Bradstreet. I used to show Gordon Brown and David Cameron as being companies, but I've, I've, this is the most interesting one. This is Alistair Darling, MP, who happens to be a diplomat. Now, Alistair Darling, MP, is a trading name of the Labour Party. So the Labour Party trades in his name a, in di with diplomatic status. If you understand diplomatic status, that means that certain laws and legal positions can be circumvented. They can actually get round things. One of the things that they did get round, one of the things that they hid, was this information here. We recently did a bit of work and um, looking into um, a company called Consignia Customer Management Limited. And out of the blue, someone contacted us who could supply us company credit reports, free of charge as well, which is even better. So he said to me, tell me the company and I'll get you the report. Okay, fine. So we put him to the test. 
and lo and behold, we, we, we did it with Consignia. Now, Consignia is a PLC, it's a private limited with share capital company, and its company status is it's non-trading, and it hasn't been trading since the 4th of the 11th of 02, which is very, very interesting with some information I'm going to give you in a little, in a little while. It's a part of a group of 35 companies under its ultimate parent company, the Secretary of State to Trade and Industry. Now, there's a few implications with this, including two foreign companies, as you can see up there, including as well 10 Royal Mail companies, the holdings, the pensions, everything. It's all held under this company, under this ultimate parent company, Secretary of State of Trade and Industry. Who was the Secretary of State of Trade and Industry? Mr. Darling. 